Are you always sitting on your computer or lying down somewhere in your home, always feeling restless and demotivated? Well, it's time to get up and move. Incorporating movement into our daily routines can help us think more clearly, stay motivated, and perform better in all areas of life. Whether it's taking a walk, doing yoga, or simply stretching throughout the day, finding ways to move our bodies can do more than just keep us physically active. In fact, it supports our cognitive function and mental well-being as well. Even just a single bout of aerobic exercise has helped to improve attention, information processing, and memory storage and retrieval. But before we explore how movement changes our brain, hit that subscribe button so we can feed you nuggets of knowledge on brain and behavior. One of the most obvious benefits to movement is of course, increased blood flow. Movement increases blood flow and oxygenation to the brain, which can improve cognitive function, including attention, memory, and problem solving. In a 2013 study, they found that moderate to high intensity exercises increased blood flow to the prefrontal cortex, a brain region involved in executive function and decision making. In fact, even just several minutes of walking improved connectivity between brain regions involved in attention and cognitive control in pre-adolescent children. But this isn't just beneficial for the youthful. Even just including some exercise into your daily schedule helped improve blood flow and cognitive function in older adults with mild cognitive impairment, with evidence suggesting that exercise helped prevent the progression of Alzheimer's disease. And in another study, aerobic exercises were shown to increase blood flow to the hippocampus, a brain region involved in memory and learning. Movement also can help stimulate creativity and enhance diversion thinking, allowing us to generate more novel ideas and solutions. In one study, they found that moderate intensity exercises improved creative thinking in young adults and self-perception. Furthermore, it helped to increase the child's perceived physical competence and overall self-worth. In another Stanford study, they found that just walking in itself helped to improve and boost creative inspiration increasing creative output by an average of 60% just when walking instead of sitting. Movement can also have a positive impact on mood regulation, reducing stress and anxiety and promoting feelings of well-being and happiness. Aerobic exercise, for example, can improve mood regulation and reduce symptoms of depression and anxiety. In one study, they found that just running or moving around just enough to use enough energy even for just 15 minutes a day, help to fend off depression. As author Carmel Choi, a clinical and research fellow at the Harvard T.H. Chan School of Public Health states, we saw a 26% decrease in odds for becoming depressed for each major increase in objectively measured physical activity. Exercise was not only effective in reducing symptoms of depression and anxiety, but a single session of moderate intensity exercise improved mood and cognitive performance and quality of living, even for elderly people with mild cognitive impairment. Not all movement you practice needs to be high intensive. As I noted earlier, just the active movement can help your body in many ways. And there are many different types of movement. The first, for one, there's novel learning. These are movements that are new and unfamiliar to the individual. From learning a new dance routine to practicing a new yoga pose, these types of movement can help to learn new motor skills and improve cognitive function. Then there is self-referential processing. These are movements that involve the individual's own body and proprioception, the awareness of the position and movement of the body in a given space. These movements help with greater body awareness and spatial cognition, which are important for motor learning. Movements like these include yoga, tai chi, and dance. Then there is also multi-sensory learning. These are movements that engage multiple senses such as vision, hearing, and touch. Multi-sensory movements can improve cognitive function by engaging all senses and thus enhancing neural connectivity. Some prominent multi-sensory movements include dance, martial arts, and sports. Overall movement, whether intensive or not, helps to make you more mindful. Conscious movement helps to cultivate mindfulness by encouraging us to focus on bodily sensations and movement in a non-judgmental way. When we move, we become more aware of our bodily sensations, such as our heartbeat, breathing, and muscle tension. This increased awareness can improve our interoceptive abilities, which refers to our ability to perceive and interpret these internal bodily sensations. Being more aware of your body can do wonders. Not only does it help you identify areas of tension or discomfort with greater ease, 
This can make you also be more conscious to having better posture and alignment. It can also help you notice when you need to rest or take a break from physical activity, resulting in less likeliness of injuries. Improved body awareness helps you develop a greater understanding of yourself, which can increase your general self-esteem and self-identity. And beyond yourself, when you have a greater awareness for your body, you may be more attuned to the needs and emotions of others. This is because such awareness helps to build a coherent relationship with the self and improve emotional regulation. And as such, you can then improve your ability to empathize and connect with others, ultimately resulting in stronger and more fulfilling relationships. So if you liked what you learned in this video, make sure to go around and move right after you've watched this. And also make sure to subscribe to the channel and share with your friends so we can continue to help you mine the golden mind.